Welcome to Courtsiders. I'm your host, Eric. Let's talk about point guard Zion right now, who is currently unstoppable. This is the Denver Nugget game. See a 3-2 zone. Zion recognizes that they're trying to protect the paint. Choose is the weakest defender who right now is Faku. He actually loses his defender, thinks it's at the three-point line. He's not. He's cutting to the baseline, cutting to the basket. Zion realizes that beautiful bounce pass. Here you have Steven Adams setting the pick. Zion realizes Jokic is too slow on his feet and has no shot of blocking this. Here you have Zion again for his ball mishap. He has an incredible bend at his waist. His shoulder is below Millsap's waist. Therefore, he could get around Millsap and generate power. It's almost how like a defensive end in the NFL does it. It's incredible. It's a it's one of his specialties. It's almost unguardable. Uh, you know, this move right here, he's using most of his body to protect the ball. So here you have another one. MPJ is face guarding, kind of doesn't even know real realize like Zion has that ball. He clears the space for Zion. Zion, as soon as he does that, realizes there's one less person in the paint, attacks the paint. Again, Millsap. Look how much space there is behind Millsap. You can't give Zion that much space. And here you have the Dallas game, which is, this is nothing like tactically brilliant. It's just Zion going one-on-one -on -one with the players and realizing I'm more talented and gifted than all these players. And he's getting double teamed throughout this game. And Maxi Kleba has like no shot at guarding Zion in this game. Here you have just Zion just continually driving into the paint. Boban is too slow on his feet. Maxi is too small. Like it was just a problem. Here you have Steven Adams ceiling sort of like a pick. And Boban, he basically thinks like Zion's going to jump maybe closer to the basket. <laughs> Zion just completely uses his power. Steven Adams is nice little dish right there and Zion runs the floor perfectly here you have Zion going to the paint where there's like four people and he just says you guys are too small for me it, you're too small that's it here the double team is coming realizes that swings it out perfect three-point shot there it goes again Zion's like clay but you're too small Boban you're too slow it's basically Zion versus the Dallas Mavericks and they can't stop him at all they can't stop him look at this Boban's too slow Zion's too fast too big too strong man so here you have again there's four people looking at him four defenders looking at him this is an easy walk into three and there you have again so much attention is being paid to Zion and he catches Finney Smith with this spin move because he just guides him to the right as soon as he guides him to the right, he just spins back to the left, which is his dominant hand. And I guess sometimes you forget that Zion is actually left-handed. So, Finney Smith, I wouldn't say it was a hard foul, but he did catch him. Here you have two defenders chasing Zion. He just gives it to Eric Bledsoe, who does miss the basket. But Zion has some crazy eye coordination and is just in the right position in the, in the paint. He barely misses in the paint. So, like, what are, what are we talking about point Zion, right? I think right now the Pelicans are in, in sort of like this stage where they're deciding whether to just play him there at that position for longer minutes. And I think, honestly, it is the right move for the Pelicans to make to have a 6'6", 300 and plus pounder, you know, who is capable of just creating havoc in the paint and has a an efficient efficient rating at the rim and just dominates in that area of basketball so and honestly he has the vision and the passing ability to play point forward so it's just an, a mismatch complete mismatch for anyone in the nba right now power forwards are too small centers are too slow you have to have some sort of hybrid in between that could cover uh, Zion, like Anthony Davis, like that. I could probably think of like Anthony Davis, maybe like Ben Simmons, and even then, uh, maybe Ben Simmons isn't strong enough for Zion. That's the crazy part. But I could see like AD covering him, people like that, even like LeBron, you know, Kawhi.
Kawhi. Kawhi might be too small for him, but it's just like it's pick your poison with Zion. You give him a mismatch like Maxi Kleba, and you saw what happened. It just too small, even too small. Like even and Boban's too slow, and you go back to the Denver game, and Jokic is too slow. Millsap is too slow. It's and he's just creating mismatch all over, and it helps the whole team. You know, it makes the game easier for other players who don't have the capabilities that Zion Williamson has. Right, so. We'll see going forward, but right now he is in a tear and hopefully continues it. Follow us on Twitter at The Courtsiders and subscribe to the channel if you can and listen to us on iTunes. Our podcast is on iTunes, Spotify, and Stitcher. Thank you.